finished. All right. So for this, <clears throat> for this next question, um, I guess in this case, which is my fifth, what is the strength of an electric field that will balance the weight of a proton? So um, if we have a proton and it's experiencing mg, so a force due to gravity, then what we want is for um, our electric field, our force due to our electric field, which is QE. So we want some electric field, which points in the opposite direction, which is going to balance our, our, um, our gravitational force, or to put this um, in an equation form, we want QE minus mg to equal ma, but we want it to be balanced, so we want no acceleration, so we want that to be equal to zero. So rearranging, we want QE to equal mg, or we want our electric field to be mg over q. So now, <clears throat> using the mass of a proton as 1.672 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms, the charge on a proton is just the, a positive electric charge, so 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs and g is 9.8 meters per second squared. Um, and so then this is 1.672 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms, 9.8 meters per second squared, all over the charge, which is 1.602. Uh, times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Electric fields should be in newtons per coulomb. Here we have a kilogram meters per second squared, which is a newton, so that looks good to me. And so if we run through all this, we get one, um, one, one point oh two two eight times 10 to the minus seven newtons per coulomb, or yeah, actually, that's fine. And then comparing to the solution here, so we want our electric force and our gravitational force to equal. <clears throat> that can be rearranged. And yeah, so depending on how many units you keep, um, I suppose there's not really any given in the questions, so be up to the user, but they both look the same to me, so solution is correct.